Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on corresponding and alternate angles. Uh, so in this video we're going to be covering four rules which surround angles that are formed between two parallel lines. Uh, and the first type is uh, alternate angles. So these are sometimes known as Z angles uh, and that's because they form a Z shape. So in this example we have D and C uh, and the rule is that alternate angles are the same. So in this case D equals C. So moving on to rule number two, uh, that's corresponding angles. So corresponding angles are sometimes known as F angles, and that's because they form this F shape. Uh, so in this case, we have angles E and F, uh, and corresponding angles are also the same. So in this case, E equals F. Moving on to rule number three now, uh, and that is vertically aligned angles. So uh, these are angles that are opposite each other when two lines meet. Uh, and once again, the rule is that vertically aligned angles are the same. So in this case, A equals B. And finally, we have rule number four, uh, which surrounds co-interior angles. So these are the angles that are formed on the inside when a straight line passes between these two parallel lines. Uh, so in this case, we have angles H and G. Uh, and this time, they're not the same, uh, but H plus G equals 180 degrees. Uh, so the sum of two co-interior or allied angles, as they're sometimes known, is 180 degrees. So if we take a look at an example now, so BD and EG are parallel lines. So that's these two lines here. Find the angle marked X in the image below. Uh, so this is quite a common type of exam question, uh, and there's always several ways you can do it. But here we're going to use the rules that we've just covered. Um, so first of all, we can see that uh, C and this 32 degrees are co-interior or allied angles. Um, so we can say that C plus 32 equals 180 degrees. Uh, so C equals 180 minus 32, which equals 148 degrees. So C equals 148 degrees. Now, if we have a look at C and X, we can see that they are vertically opposite angles. Uh, and the rule in that case is that vertically opposite angles are the same. So C equals X. Uh, in other words, X equals 148 degrees. Uh, so this is just one way of doing this question. Uh, you could use any of the rules uh, and you should end up with the same answer. So if you found the video useful, why not practice the corresponding and alternate angles online exam? It's available through our revision platform. You'll find plenty of questions to practice. Uh, you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So if you're interested, then click the link below.